All right, guys, Jeff here again. Um, next formula I'm going to talk to you about is the second one we put up, which is our wing correction formula. Um, this one's much simpler than it looks. It's essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take our wind speed in miles per hour and we're going to divide it by the constant for our particular rifle. Um, most 308s are going to use a constant of four. 300 wind mags tend to be about five. Uh, when you start getting into some high BC bullets, I, I've got a load right now for my 260. Um, I'm using between six and seven, so we'll call that six and a half. Um, 338 Lapua is another good example. Um, that one is, I want to say right about eight, if I remember right. I haven't messed with that in a little while. Um, but you can see as the bullets become more and more, I guess, wind friendly, uh, basically the 338, you get almost twice the wind, uh, the constant as a, a 308 would give you. Um, this is probably just going to confuse you further. So let's forget about that. We're going to pretend we're shooting a 308. So in this example, our constant's going to be four. Um, a range divided by a thousand, the second part of this. So it, it's not as complicated as it seems. Basically, if you're shooting at 700 yards, bad example. I'll tell you why in a second. If you're shooting at 600 yards, you're going to use 0.6. If you're shooting at 300 yards, you're going to use 0.3. 200 yards, 0.2. You can kind of see where we're going. What happens with the 308 is uh, because the bullets are not necessarily the highest BC out there, at about 700 yards on, what you're going to do is you're going to add 0.1 to this answer. So if you're at 700 yards, you're going to use 0 0.8. 800 yards, you're going to use 0.9. 1,000 yards, you're going to use 1.1. Okay? Hopefully everybody's still with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our wind in miles per hour. Let's say we have a 4 mile an hour breeze. We're going to divide that by our constant, which in this case for the 308 is 4, okay? We're going to multiply that by whatever range we're shooting at. Let's say we're at 500 yards. So we have 0.5, okay? What we're going to do, 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 0.5 equals 0.5. It's just basically all we're doing is dividing it in half. We're going to use a half a mil full value wind for a 500 yard shot with a 4 mile an hour crosswind. Okay? Keep in mind this is full value. If we have an 8 mile an hour wind, it's going to be the same. 8 divided by 4, right, times 0.5. We're still at 500 yards. So 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 0.5 equals 1. We have 1 mil of full value wind. If we get a 10 mile an hour wind, okay, divided by 4, we're going to get uh, 2.5, not a big deal, times 0.5, still at 500 yards, equals 1.5. 2.5 mil and a quarter full value wind. Okay? I hope I'm not going too quick with this. Let's change our range here a little bit. Let's say we've got a 8 mile an hour wind at 700 yards. We're doing, we're still doing full value. We'll worry about wind values here in a little bit down the road. What we're going to do, again, 8 divided by 4 equals 2 times our range divided by 1,000. Now remember, 700 yards and beyond, we're going to add 0.1 to that. So we're going to say 0.8. 2 times 0.8 equals 1.6 mils full value wind. Okay? It's as simple as that. If we're using a, uh, let's use a 300 wind mag. We get a little more velocity, a little higher BC on the bullets, so it doesn't, it 
takes more wind to have the same effect. That's why our constant increases. So in this case, we're going to be using a constant of 5. We'll say we've got a, I don't know, 8 mile an hour wind still. And uh, we're still doing full value. Our range is going to be 900 yards. So we're going to take our 8 miles an hour. We're going to divide that by our constant of 5. And that's going to give us 1.6 times, remember this is going to be 1.0, we got to add that 0.1 past 700 yards. 1.6 times 1 equals 1.6 mils full value wind. Okay? Hopefully everybody's still with me. Uh, this formula actually looks like a nightmare because you're dividing things by a thousand, everything else, but it's really very straightforward. Out to 700 yards, all you really have to remember is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, all the way out to 0.6. Okay? If you're at 300 yards, this is going to be 0.3. If you're at 200 yards, it's going to be 0 0.2. 600 yards, 0.6. Um, once you get 700 yards, that's when we want to add that extra tenth in there. But it's really pretty straightforward. Um, when you've got it written out like this, it looks like a bunch of gibberish, but once you actually sit down, run through a couple of these in your head, it's pretty easy to uh, make sense of it. Now keep in mind too, these constants that I just threw out there, we've got 4, 5, 6, 5, and 8, depending on caliber. These are all going to be dependent on your loads, basically. Um, if I'm shooting a 100 grain hunting load out of my 260, my constant's going to be a lot closer to that of the 308 than it is with the high BC bullets of the 260. Same thing with the 338 Lapua. If we decide we're going to shoot a 250 grain cast lead bullet with a gas check on it, we're not going to be taking advantage of those high BC bullets, those 0 0.7, 0 0.8 BC bullets you're never going to use a constant of 8 in that case. So this is, it's a good rough formula to get you in the ballpark, but it is going to be dependent on your load. Um, you know, this is where your ballistic calculators really do kind of show their worth because these conditions are going to change depending on density, altitude, your load, etc., etc. This is a good rough formula if you don't have a ballistics calculator or computer, something like that, you're out there behind the gun. This is going to give you a ballpark area to get started from. But keep in mind, that's, that's all it is. It's a ballpark area. You're going to have to shoot to confirm it, really. Um, and so, you know, nothing, uh, the bullet doesn't lie. Anything you do on the range that you can duplicate is going to be your right answer. Everything else is going to entail altering the formula so that you get the correct answer for your particular rifle and load combination. Hope that made some sense. If you got any questions, shoot me an email or leave me a message. Don't forget uh, you can comment too, although I rarely remember to check those. And uh, thanks for watching.